doorway exercises, moving your hips forward, back extension. For this exercise, use a door frame to stabilise your shoulders and give you support. It's important to keep your shoulders still so that the exercise focuses on your back and not your entire body. Using the door frame for support, gently move your hips forward to arch or extend your back. Stop just before you feel any pain. This movement may be very small at first, but don't worry if you can't get your hips level with the door frame. Just try to get as straight as you can. Once you've gone as far as you are able to without pain, return to the middle position. Make sure you don't move your hips in the opposite direction beyond your original starting point. Repeat this 10 times and aim to do the exercise once every waking hour if possible. Keep in mind that this is not a no pain, no gain exercise. Moving your hips side to side, side glide. Keep your shoulders still by using a door frame for support. This ensures that you're not using your whole body, but just exercising your back. Start by positioning yourself with your feet hip width apart and gently move your hips to one side and then the other. Be careful not to lean with your shoulders as you do this. Important, keep your shoulders still. Stop just before any pain and return to the middle position. The movement will be better on one side than the other, but don't be tempted to move only to the worst side. By doing this, you'll make that your better side and limit the other. Instead, do the exercise reciprocally. Move to the edge of pain on the left side. Return to the middle position. Move to the edge of pain on the right side. Return to the middle position and then repeat. Repeat the exercise 10 times on each side and aim to do it once every waking hour. This is not a no pain, no gain exercise. It should be gentle and should not increase your symptoms. Floor exercises, early level. If you have an exercise mat, you should use it for all the floor exercises in this video. Back extension exercise or the Sphinx. For this exercise, you'll need to position yourself on the floor, lying on your stomach. Use your arm muscles to raise your shoulders up off the floor. Don't use your back muscles to do this. It's also important to make sure that your pelvis doesn't rise off the floor as you perform the exercise. Don't worry if you're only able to move your shoulders slightly at first. You should always be gentle and stop at the edge of pain. Don't push into it. Relax back into your starting position and repeat the exercise 10 times. You can perform the exercise up to once each waking hour. Knee rolling. Begin by lying on the floor, this time on your back. Now hold your legs and feet together and bend your knees. From here, very slowly roll your knees to one side as far as you can go without pain. Now return them to the middle and repeat the exercise on the other side. One side will be easier than the other, but don't force the stiffer side. Just let the two sides even out over time. You should repeat the exercise 10 times on each side, going from one side to the other before repeating. You may perform the exercise up to once every hour. Cat or camel stretch. Begin the exercise by kneeling on all fours. You should keep your hands under your shoulders and your knees and feet hip width apart. You should also make sure that your hips are at a right angle in your starting position. Now, arch your back as far as you can comfortably. Don't force the movement. Next, go the opposite way and round your back as far as you can comfortably. Again, don't force it. Relax back into your starting position and repeat this 10 times. You may perform the exercise up to five times each day. It often offers the most relief when done just as you wake up and before going to bed. Back bracing, pelvic tilt. Begin this exercise by positioning yourself flat on your back on a solid surface. Your knees should be bent up comfortably and your hips, knees and feet need to be aligned with each other. Now, brace your back into the floor and hold the position for 5 to 20 seconds. Putting a hand under the arch of your back will allow you to feel the contraction. Many people find that activating their pelvic floor helps with bracing. 
To do this, tighten your pelvic floor muscles, as if you were stopping mid-flow when using the toilet. It's important to breathe naturally throughout the exercise. You should repeat this up to 20 times and may perform the exercise up to once each waking hour. Advanced exercises, bridging. For this exercise, lie flat on your back. Next, bend your knees up so that your feet are now where your knees originally were. You should keep your feet and knees hip width apart and brace your back into the floor. Now lift your hips, making sure that you keep your legs in straight lines. Hold the position for at least a second and for up to 20 seconds. It's important to breathe naturally throughout the exercise. Keep control as you relax back down into your starting position. You should repeat this at least five times and perform the exercise one to three times per day. Single knee flexion. Start the exercise by lying on your back on a hard surface. First, raise one leg up off the floor by bending your hip and knee. Next, raise the knee up and clutch it to your chest with your hands. Hold the position for one to 30 seconds and repeat five times. This is an advanced exercise. Many people have to start by just bending the hip and knee as far as they can. At first, you may not be able to lift your foot off the floor. Don't worry, it may take many sessions before you can even reach your knee. Never mind be able to pull it towards you. If you can reach it, be gentle as you pull it towards you. You may perform the exercise up to five times per day. It is often most effective if done just after you wake up and right before going to bed. Double knee flexion. This is a very advanced exercise. You may progress to this exercise only when you can hold each knee towards your chest individually for 30 seconds. Begin by holding your knees and feet together. Raise both legs together and clutch them to your chest. Be very gentle as you pull them towards you. Hold the position for 5 to 20 seconds and repeat this 5 times. You may complete the exercise up to 5 times each day. This exercise is often most effective when performed after waking up and before going to bed. Tabletop single leg. Lay flat on your back on a solid surface and bend your knees so that your feet are now where your knees were. Keep your feet and knees hip width apart and brace your back into the floor. Hold your back in this position. Activating your pelvic floor may help with the bracing. You can do this by tightening your muscles as though you're stopping mid-flow when using the toilet. Now, raise your knee until your hip and your knee are at 90 degree angles. It's important that you remember to breathe naturally. Hold the position for 5 to 20 seconds and repeat up to 20 times. You may perform this exercise between 1 and 3 times each day. Tabletop double leg. This is a difficult exercise. It can be far too much for the back in the early stages of your program, so use it much later. Lying flat on your back on a solid surface, begin by bending your knees so that your feet are now where your knees were. Keep your feet and knees together throughout the exercise and hold your back braced into the floor. Now, lift both legs so that the hips and knees are bent at 90 degree angles and hold this position. Hold the position for 5 to 20 seconds and repeat up to 20 times. You may perform this exercise between 1 and 3 times each day. Level 3 Pilates 100s This is a stability exercise that's normally used after back problems to prevent recurrence. Lie flat on your back, bend both knees so your feet are now where your knees were. Keep your feet and knees together and brace your back into the floor. Next, lift both legs together so that the hips and the knees are bent at 90 degree angles. Hold this position. Now hold your arms straight by your sides and move them off the floor in a small oscillating motion. Anywhere from 1 to 5 inches or 3 to 15 centimetres will work. Remember to keep your back braced as you do this. You should aim for 100 oscillations but start low. Try 10 to 20 to begin with and work your way up to a maximum of 100. This may take you some weeks to get up to this level. Remember to try to breathe normally throughout the exercise, if you can. 
At first, many people end up holding their breath while focusing on stabilizing their backs. It's often recommended that you breathe in for a count of five and out again for a count of five to try to keep control. But be aware that this could make you feel lightheaded. To advance in the exercise, you can lift your head. This will tighten your back further. You may repeat the exercise one to three times per day. Swimming. This is a stability exercise that's normally used to prevent the recurrence of back problems. Begin by lying on your stomach with your hands above your head and your head resting on the floor. Your hands should be shoulder width apart and your feet and knees should be together. Avoid wearing any footwear for this exercise as it can act as a weight. Now lift one arm and the opposite leg off the floor. Start low. If you lift too high at first, it can be painful for your back. A good height to start with is one to two inches or three to six centimeters. You can make the exercise harder by lifting higher later on in your program. Hold the position for between five and 30 seconds and repeat five to 20 times. Remember to breathe naturally throughout. You may perform the exercise one to three times per day. Superman. This is a stability exercise. It's normally used following back problems to prevent their recurrence. Begin by kneeling on all fours. Keep your hands below your shoulders and keep your knees and feet hip width apart. Your hips should be at 90 degree angles. Now lift one arm and the opposite leg off the floor. Straighten them and lift them to body height or slightly above. Hold the position for five to 20 seconds and remember to breathe naturally. You should aim to repeat this five to 20 times and you may perform the exercise one to three times per day. The plank. This is a stability exercise used to prevent the recurrence of back problems. Start by lying on your stomach and bring your arms under your shoulders. Now push up onto your forearms so that your elbows are supporting the weight of your upper body. Try to keep your arms straight down from your shoulders. Your elbows should be at 90 degree angles. Now tighten your back muscles and raise your hips so that your body makes a straight line. Try to breathe as normally as possible and hold this position for at least five seconds. You can repeat this one to five times. There's no upper limit to how long you should hold the position for. Some people who are very strong can hold it for many minutes. This exercise can be done up to once per day, but normally people do it one to three times per week.